Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Pulp Crazy. I'm Jason Aiken. In this week's episode, I will be discussing The Ice Goes Out by Frank Richardson Pierce. It was originally published in the July 1st, 1928 issue of Adventure. I couldn't find a whole lot of information on the author, Frank Richardson Pierce, but it appears he also wrote as Franklin Richardson Pierce and also used a few pseudonyms. Through some searches, I have seen him appear in pulp magazines from 1919 into the 1940s. From the looks of his entry on the Fiction Mag's index, he mainly wrote adventure and western fiction. According to ISFDB, he lived from October 21st, 1881 to January 7th. 1966. The Ice Goes Out takes place in the wild Alaskan frontier during the late 1920s and centers around a robbery of contest money. The folks in the territory have a competition on who can guess the exact moment the ice will melt on this particular stretch of river. The contest is called the Ice Pole. They have a tripod mounted on a wire in the center of the river, and it's connected to an alarm and clock on the other end back in camp. People send in their entry fees and guesses to the local store owner. He keeps track of the guesses and also stores the entry fees into his store safe. This is all supposed to be a lot of fun, but it takes a turn for the worse when two men use explosive powder on the safe, steal the money, and take off across the river. The store owner leads a posse of men to pursue the thieves across ice. Can the thieves and posse beat the ice melt? Well, you'll have to read it and find out. The Ice Goes Out is a a three-and-a-half-page story. It's pretty short, and it's available to read on the Pulp Magazine's project website. They have the entire July 1st, 1928 issue of Adventure available, both as a PDF or flipbook. I'll put a link to it in the show notes. This is really a fun little story. That's it for this week's episode. Pulp Crazy is located at pulpcrazy.com. I'm at Pulp Crazy on Twitter. And facebook.com slash pulp crazy. You can also email me at pulpcrazy at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.